What's going on YouTube? It's Jay Wilson. I'm here to bring you a kick butt announcement. Well, for my wife and I and, and Liam, but I also wanted to thank you and update you before we get into the top three things that I've learned in the fish keeping hobby. First, we sold our home. Yes, we are super pumped. It was very stressful in the beginning because, well, we are getting into the months of no house selling. So we're, we're really excited and truly grateful that our house sold and that we'll be able to make the move to Texas. I want to give a shout out to my wife specifically. She has taken the reins of Northfin USA and ran with them tenfold. I couldn't be more grateful that she was able to do such a thing with honestly, without a lot of communication, she just picked it up and ran with it. And I'm super thankful. I also wanted to apologize for the Northfin USA family, the community that we've grown. I want to say that I'm sorry that I have not been on social media, I've not been posting, and I have not been as engaging as I normally am. There's a lot of stuff on our plates and with the displacement, all of the things that we're doing, I just wanted to say thank you, but know that it's gonna pick back up. And when it picks back up, it's super fun and it's super exciting. I also wanted to say thank you to the Dunn family to be very understanding in terms of the move down to Universal Rocks in June and to be able to have the leniency to continue to make the move as stress reduced as possible because those of you who have moved know that it's extremely stressful. And those of you that have moved with fish tanks and babies know that it's even more stressful. So let's get on to the topics of the three things that I think you should know that I learned in the fish keeping hobby over the last five years. Come on. Top three things. Number one, bigger is always better. Yeah, Jay, but uh... I've got 75 Africans chilling in my 90 gallon and I don't have any issues. Although I do water changes every day. <laughs> Look, you have to understand and let me explain. I went from a 55 to a 100 to a 150 to a 220 to a 500 and I did it progressively over five years. I didn't try to squash it into this small amount of time. But what I found is that in the 500 as opposed to the 55 gallon, I've had less aggression. I only have 12 fish, 12 fish inside that 500 gallon. I see more of their natural tendencies. I spend less time maintaining my tank and more time enjoying it. And I don't have to feed as much because I don't have all these fish. So my nitrates aren't rising. My nitrogen cycle isn't all out of whack, folks. Bigger is better. And I'm not talking about just a 500 gallon. Because if you can only fit a 90 gallon or you can only fit a 55 gallon, Understand that in your mind, you can't have the 30 fish you thought you were going to have with the 1,000 gallon you dream to have right now. You have to plan for this specific tank. So please, overcrowding is not something that reduces aggression. That has been busted many times. Although in some cases it helps, just remember that everything doesn't apply to everything. But what I've found over the last five years is that bigger tanks and less fish are always better. Number two, consistency. Consistency within feeding, consistency within maintenance, and consistency in terms of what you do. And this is what I mean. You may be feeding Northen. You may not be feeding Northen, and that's okay. But if you're feeding a specific food for three, four months, and then all of a sudden you see IFG, and IFG has used this miraculously new, super cool new food, and so now you have to try it. And that's okay, but remember, now your digestive system in terms of your fish has changed. Jay, why are my fish just totally pooping? I think I've got parasites. I've got crappy fish. I bought them from the Wonder of Cichlids, the Cichlid Check, Southeast Cichlids, Imperial Tropic, and OnlineFishToYourDoor.com. Why? Folks, you got to understand that if you're not consistent, you're going to find changes, and within those changes... You may think they're issues because a lot of things that populate within your tank are very similar symptoms across the board. But if you're doing things on a consistent basis, you have a schedule, you're not going to have most of these issues. And if you do, you'll be ready to attack them at any moment because they won't just magically appear. Number three, stop complaining. Stop moaning and crying. Stop giving your emotional feelings over your, over your fish, guy. Relax, buddy. It's going to be okay. And what I mean by that is, 
it may not be going your way because, well, you decided to chase after IFG, Dennis Rudell, Corey Hecker, Jay Wilson, Joey Mullins, uh, Corey, you know, uh, Corey from the Aquarium Co-op. You tried to chase after all these people and what they do instead of focusing in on your tank, your fish, and what you're doing. Does that make sense? It should. Stop worrying about everything around you and start worrying about what you can do. Plan accordingly. Yeah, you may not be able to get the 800 gallon or the 500 or the 300 gallon, but you've got a 75 gallon and that is awesome and you need to stock, plan, and do that tank according to what the size is. Don't worry about what everybody else. If somebody's doing 42 tanks and you can only do 12, well, that's 12 more than somebody else is doing within the hobby and that's 12 more fish that you can possibly breed, enjoy, or bring in some friends and become a part of a community like the American Cichlid Association. Folks, those are the three things. Let's recap. One, bigger is always better. Bigger tanks, less fish, more enjoyment, natural tendencies, less maintenance, more time enjoying the things that you enjoy about the fish keeping hobby. Number two, consistency. Consistency in feeding, consistency in maintenance, and consistency in how you are procuring fish. If you've got 30 fish and two die, that doesn't mean replace one. That doesn't mean replace six more. It means be patient. Allow stability to happen so that in a consistent basis, you can add more fish as more fish drop off in terms of developing a colony. Maybe you lost some because of a power outage, or maybe you had an issue with, with a natural disaster. Folks, be patient, be consistent. And three, stop complaining. Stop trying to chase after something that you may not be able to achieve because that's okay. Start focusing in on your tank, your fish, your space, and you will enjoy the fish keeping hobby more. I promise. Folks, check us out at the Aquatic Experience. It's going to be awesome. North Bend, North Bend, USA. Universal Rocks and UniversalRocks.com. It's going to be amazing. Check us out at the American Cichlid Association booth. Become a member today for only $35 and enjoy the many benefits that come with it. And if you don't know, check it out at cichlid.org. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, unfollowing, following, tweeting, retweeting, quoting, double tapping, showing the love with the heart on Instagram. We greatly appreciate it. Check out the Aquatic Lounge because you'll find more people enjoying more fish keeping in terms of a broad spectrum and getting more information that you need to help you along your fish keeping journey. You know what's next. Ahala! <laughs> Say holla! 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 <laughs> oh, look at that hair. <laughs>